weight loss and they, they want to get experience weight loss. Mm. And I heard you talking about cold therapy on another podcast. Can you tell our listeners why cold therapy is helpful for weight loss? Yeah, I'll tell you specifically why it's helpful for weight loss. Think of what the definition is of a calorie, mm -hmm. right? So a calorie is actually a measure of heat, right. right? The definition of a calorie is the amount of energy that it takes to raise one cubic centimeter of water, one degree centigrade. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if a calorie is a measure of heat, then when heat is leaving our bodies, guess what else is leaving our bodies? Calories, calories. right? Heat leaving our body is actually calories leaving our body. If you actually read the story about Michael Phelps when he actually went you know, to Beijing to compete in the Olympics. Thousands a day, right? His, cal his caloric intake went to 10,000 calories a day. 10,000 calories a day. But why did it go to 10,000 calories a day? Not because his training regimen changed. Because the pool he was in was four degrees colder than the pool he was used to training in. Wow. Right? So water is 29 times more thermogenic than air meaning water removes heat at 29 times the rate of air. You can die in 72 degree water. You cannot die in 72 degree air, right? Your yeah. body can maintain that temperature gradient. So there's, when we get into cold water, four major things happen. Number one, our liver panics, and it floods the bloodstream with something called a cold shock protein. These are miracle proteins and you have an endless supply of them every day. These proteins will scour the body of free radical oxidation. They will quadruple the rate of protein synthesis, muscle repair. The second thing that happens is you have a major peripheral vasospasm, yeah. right? So what does this do? It drives oxygen into the core, it forces oxygen into the brain. What other time of our life does this happen? Only in delta wave sleep. It mimics delta deep sleep, which is why you feel so amazing. Try to be in a bad mood getting out of a cold plunge, yeah. right? You are in the best. They say if somebody's depressed, push them in cold water, <laughs> right? Um, so the third thing that happens is, um, you know, you have this this vasospasm, you, you drive oxygen into the core, but now heat is flooding out of your body. There is nothing on the surface of the earth that will remove calories from your body or burn fat at the rate that getting in cold water will. There is no amount of hits cardio, there's no amount of intense exercise, weight training, nothing even comes remotely close to the amount of fatty acid metabolism, brown fat activation that you can get from getting in cold water. So That's cold usually water. where I get the women, by the way, yeah. to start cold bedding. Because <laughs> they're like, all right, now I like the you know peripheral vasospasm, then I'll sound sciencey, but wait a second, you say I could lose weight? <laughs> I'm telling you. So cold, like plunge rather than cryotherapy. Cold plunge rather than cryotherapy, again, because water is 29 times more thermogenic than air. than air. So you can use 50 or 60 degree water, work your way down to 50. I don't think that you need to go below 50. The trick to cold plunging is to get the peak amount of benefit and then get out and then do it daily. Um, three minutes minimum, six minutes maximum. Anything below 58 degrees, I would prefer 50 degrees. But if you want the absolute sweet spot for cold plunging, 50 degrees, three minutes minimum, six minutes maximum, once a day. It will change your life. Yeah. It will change your life.